It's not that we are against immigrants, not at all. It's just that we are we are at a at a point where we no longer can uh, find either more immigrants or the ones that we have actually taken on. I want everyone who comes to Sweden to be as successful as I am, but it is not possible now. Uh, so when we are back to the level where we can make it possible for people who come here to be successful and feel and feel that they are a part of our society, uh, we need to we need to uh, how do you say have restrictions until we are back on our feet and can deliver that to everyone who comes here. Sweden as a society, we need labour work to actually maintain our welfare system. And one of the problems is to, to explain why we need to take this step in order to actually manage the future. And it's like every organisational change, you have to explain the benefits of the future uh, instead of the challenges today. And that's, the, uh, some of the, and that's uh, what I believe some of the election today is actually about. Uh, some parties are almost focusing on the problems today, while others are trying to explain why we need to do this step. Flen is more or less living on the fact that we have all these immigrants. They, of course, creating got a lot of jobs for people. Flen has no industry, so to speak. So if um, this go away from Flen, this city will have a major problem. Just a few years ago, it's hard to imagine how the issue of immigration was almost taboo if you raised questions or doubts about Sweden's asylum and immigration policy, you could even be accused of being a racist. But now it seems that the situation has almost go, gone too far the other way, that every small indication of problems with immigration and asylum gets blown up to become an, a, a national talking point and it's now become the focus of the elections taking place in a few days' time.